Then uh, we move to the next presentation uh, uh, by Dr. Pitet Adron Cabello, Secretary General, uh, National Science, Technology and Innovation Policy Office of Thailand. And the presentation is on climate change adap adaptive strategies. Uh, so please. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you very much for having me here this morning. Uh, it's an honor. Uh, I don't know what sort of contribution I can make in this uh, expert group. Uh, I am working uh, from the point of view of the Ministry of Science and Technology, not directly uh, res uh, responsible, if I may. Uh, on the issue of climate change, especially on the negotiations side. Uh, but uh, during the past year, we have done uh, quite a number of work with the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment Thailand in uh, helping them uh, uh, during the negotiation process of the, of the, of the COP uh, in Copenhagen and uh, next one in Cancun. Uh, particularly on the technology transfer issue. So I must admit that I come from that angle and not directly from the climate change. Um, but uh, before I get into what uh, the slides that uh, my staff prepare for me, uh, I would like to uh, uh, introduce the, the overall uh, context of uh, how we see it from uh, the point of view of science and technology uh, within the uh, uh, perimeter of the climate change. At the moment, uh, we are in the process of drafting Thailand's 10-year uh, plan on science, technology and innovation. And uh, among uh, a large numbers of uh, issues uh, uh, and challenges that we are facing, uh, we have uh, strategically selected uh, uh, four driving uh, factors uh, that we think uh, will have large impacts uh, on Thailand. Uh, number one is energy and environment, and certainly climate change uh, would be uh, a major factor in that. Number two is demographic change, uh, especially in particular the demographic change uh, from the perspective of the aging society. Uh, number three is globalization and regionalization, uh, in particular the, the get together of the ASEAN community, may it be ASEAN economic community, ASEAN socio social community and ASEAN security community. And the last one that we have identified is green innovation, whatever it is. It's, uh, it's a very wide uh, area uh, of things that uh, we can uh, address. Uh, the reason I raised these uh, four driving issues is because uh, all the four will be interrelated, more or less. Uh, climate change and the aging society climate change and how we can uh, uh, be innovative in, in our lifestyle or in our technology that would accommodate the change that is to come. And climate change as a regional issue for ASEAN, for example, or ASEAN plus three or ASEAN plus six. So this, uh, this is the context that uh, we are looking at for the next uh, 10 years. Uh, in so doing, uh, we have come to look also critically at how economic and social development of Thailand would be, given that we have to do work in the area of science, technology, and innovation. So uh, economically, we have identified a number of economic sectors, uh, for example, agriculture and food sector, uh, automobile sector, uh, rubber sector, uh, service such as tourism, uh, just to give you uh, the context. Uh, for the social development side, of course, we must uh, critically look at the human resource development and human resource production side, look at the uh, public health issue, and look at human security, for example. So, with with, with this kind of context 
the big question is how are we going to handle climate change? It's a complex issue. It's a difficult issue. It's an issue that would involve, involve a large number of parties, stakeholders. And without uh, preliminary work, uh, so that uh, stakeholders in general can have uh, equal information, uh, can have realization of how uh, climate change would impact them, then it's going to be a very tough issue, no matter what details we are going to work on. So from our agency, we, uh, uh, apart from drafting the policy, we are also looking into uh, how we can drive the policy forward. Uh, at the moment, uh, for example, we are working with the private sector group who's getting nervous about climate change and how it will impact their trade and industrial development, how the carbon thing you know, would affect them, would it increase uh, their cost of production, would it be the next line item of non-tariff barrier, or would it uh, affect uh, their employees in general. Uh, that is something that uh, only uh, a small number of private sector is realizing it. Now, next year would be a different thing, okay? especially after Cancun. Uh, hopefully, better news this time. Uh, on the part of the bureaucracy, I think uh, we need uh, to, uh, to make better connections among different ministries. Uh, Naturally, the Ministry of Natural Resource and uh, Environment would spearhead the effort. But you also need Ministry of Commerce, you also need Ministry of Industry, Ministry uh, of University Affairs, for example. Uh, that, that is also a, a difficult task uh, because you, you know that there's turf in every ministry. Uh, politically, how you can raise the profile of climate change so that uh, politicians can understand and adopt some of the measures necessary uh, at least to prepare uh, us uh, for the climate change. Uh, we all know that uh, we have to deal with uh, not only the mitigation issue but more probably more importantly for Thailand the adaptation issue. How the local farmers can adapt themselves to climate change, how the industry people can adapt to climate change and how all people can adapt to climate change, whether it's a short run or long run. I, I uh, overheard the, the issue of short run and long run and the uh, political inclination of uh, a short run measure. I think it's the same thing all over the world. You cannot uh, go against that, that kind of uh, uh, tendency. But anyhow, uh, uh, I think for Thailand, at the moment, uh, uh, from from my own perspective uh, and the way that we have to deal with uh, science and technology, uh, what we are worried is that uh, uh, people in general are not uh, aware enough of the issue and how it will affect them. Uh, their te technological uh, platform uh, is not there uh, to accommodate the changes uh, that will uh, arrive. Uh, the research agenda for Thailand uh, has not had the focus of climate change research, uh, something that we are trying to move at the moment. Uh, the way we move it at the moment is that uh, we look at the macro picture, and Thailand is under, uh, rather underinvest in our research uh, investment. Uh, on average, uh, from the IMD 50, uh, 58 countries, uh, the average of investment in research and development, public and private combined, is about 1.04% of GDP. But for Thailand today, we are investing only about 0 0.21 to 0.25% of GDP. Rather, rather uh, difficult for us to move forward. Uh, our office is uh, uh, drafting a proposal to the cabinet to raise uh, the research fund to 1% of GDP, accompanying